Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Jared Stott here, back with a brand new video. And if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button right now because I post every Sunday and Wednesday. But today's video is gonna be kind of funny because I am going to be reacting to my first ever YouTube video. That is right, my first ever YouTube video, but it's kind of crazy to think that my first video was only one year ago. I started my YouTube career in May of 2021, and it is now May of 2022 and we are at 2 million subscribers. So thank you guys so much for all the support. But this is gonna be pretty funny because I feel like my first YouTube videos were kind of cringy because I didn't really know what to do or what to say and I was just very awkward in front of the camera. But we're gonna watch it today and I'm going to react to it. So with that being said, let's watch my first ever YouTube video. All right guys, so my first ever YouTube video was called How to Take Out a Fake Eye. It was posted one year ago and it has 46,000 views. And it's only one minute and 30 seconds long. So let's watch it and see how it is. Here we go. Okay. What's up everybody? The intro, you can tell it was something that I just did very fast. I had no idea what I was doing, but you can already tell like when the video started that I just look so small and I have changed so much in a year. But here we go. Let's see what it's all about. My name is Jarrett and welcome to my yes. first ever YouTube Your video. name is Jarrett. Today I'm going to show you how to take out a fake eye. Okay. I've had a fake eye for over 18 years so I have a lot of experience taking my eye out. You can tell my voice that I am like so nervous and I don't know like how to speak on camera very well. But uh, let's just keep going. So today I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get started. Before actually taking out your eye, you're going to want to wash your hands. You can tell that I'm trying to be like too uh, happy and too like not me. And you can tell that I'm not being myself on camera right now. Like I'm trying to make it perfect. And obviously when you try too hard, like you can just tell on camera. And I can tell right now that I'm trying to like make it so good. But in reality, I should have just talked from my heart and showed my true personality. But let's keep going. Correct, yes. So after our <laughs> this is a very short, taking our eyes. this is a very short so video on how to take my eyeball, eyeball out. Eyelids. And I'm actually talking about it pretty well. Dig my finger under my bottom eyelid yes. and the eye starts to fall out. And I grab the bottom of it and then I just gently pull down and my eye comes That out. is how you do it. And, and, now, and now a year later, I take my eyeballs out so fast, I just like go under my eyelid and I'm like, and it comes out so fast. But let's keep watching. It looks like it looks pretty much just like a thick contact. It's shaped yes. like this because it just sits on top of my eye implant and then my eyelids hold it in. And that is how you take out your fake eye. <laughs> this is so cringy to me. To keep your hands clean because you don't want that eye socket to get infected. Thank you guys so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button and join me on my YouTube journey and I will see you next video. All right. Well, that was my first ever YouTube video. You can just tell that I was so nervous and I wanted to perfect everything on camera. And obviously like it was not that good because I wasn't being my true self. But I remember making that very first video. I was like, I wanna do YouTube, but I don't know where to start. So I'm just gonna show people how to take out a fake eyeball because at the time, when I first started taking out my own eyeball, I literally had to YouTube it because I forgot like what the doctor said on how to take it out. So I was like, this could be an informative video that would help others with the same disability that I have learn how to take their eye out properly. So that was why I made that as my first ever YouTube video. And now a word from our sponsor. The sponsor of today's video and every video is TLF Apparel, which stands for Take Life Further. They are an amazing clothing brand and they have very affordable prices. And if you want to support me, you guys can use my code TLFJAR and that will save you 15% at checkout. I'm wearing a few of their items right now. This is my favorite shirt that they have. It's like stretchy and dry fit sweatshirt. And then I also have their joggers on. They have the best gym clothes out there, I promise. So if you want to support me and get some affordable gym clothes, use my code TLFJAR. Now let's get back to the video. Okay. Two hours later. So you guys always want to know if I clean my eyeballs because I take them in and out so much and how often I clean them and how I clean them. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean all of my eyeballs at once. I have never shown this before and this is something that I do three or four times a week because I take my eyeballs in and out so much for TikToks and YouTube videos. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean all of my eyeballs. So as you see right here, 
These are all of my eyeballs except for my Sage Mode eyeball because we're getting the new eyeball and they had to have the Sage Mode eyeball. So I sent them the Sage Mode eyeball, but here are all of my eyes. And what I do is I plug the sink like this, plug the sink. And the reason that I plug the sink is because if I were to not plug the sink and one of my eyeballs were to fall down the drain, then I would lose my eyeball forever. And, and that would be like five or $10,000 down the drain, literally, and that would not be good. And I do not ever wanna lose an eyeball because I'm trying to get to 50 eyeballs, baby. But, so what I do then is I fill the sink with warm water. And then once the sink is filled with warm water, this is what I do. I take each eyeball one by one and I gently set it in the water. That way the eyeballs can soak up a little bit before I actually wash them. And then once all of my eyeballs have soaked for about five to 10 minutes, I then start washing them by hand with hand soap one by one. And then I rinse them off individually and then I set them on a towel to let them dry. So watch me do it. So yeah, that is what I do with each and every eyeball. I put the soap on it and then I rinse the soap off because if I were to leave any spot of soap on an eyeball and then put it in, that would hurt so freaking bad. That would probably be the worst pain of my life and thankfully I've never had that happen to me. So yeah, I'm about halfway done with the eyeballs, so let's finish them up. I think I got that on camera, but I legit just cracked one of my old eyeballs. I have never broken an eyeball in my freaking life until right now. I've burned my eyeballs. I've set my eyeballs in the freezer for a day. I've beat my eyeballs with a hammer, hit them across a tennis court, and falling from two feet just cracked my eyeball. You can barely see it. I don't know if it's gonna be able to zoom in and show you guys, but it's nothing like crazy. It's literally just like a little tiny gash right here. It's pretty unnoticeable. I'm gonna see if I can take a picture of it on my iPhone with the flash on and I'll put it up on the screen to show you guys a little cut in the eyeball. It's still good, like it's not anything terrible, but yeah, it looks like that eyeball is broken. I can still wear it. There's just like a little tiny like crack in it almost, but you can't even like feel it like on the surface. So it's like a crack on the inner side, but yeah, I legit just broke an eyeball and I have more eyeballs to wash. So fingers crossed that I do not break any more eyeballs, but I think that is gonna end today's video because I have never broken an eyeball before and now I'm very scared and cautious about the rest of these eyeballs that I have to wash. But that is how I wash my eyeballs and after I do all of them, I'll just hold them all in my hand, run it under the sink, rinse them off one more time, and then I just let them dry on their own for about 20 to 30 minutes. But yeah, that is gonna end today's video. We watched my first ever YouTube video and I freaking broke my eyeball. Like this is not even a clickbaited video. Some of my videos have a little bit of clickbait behind them, but today's video literally just happened out of nowhere. So yeah, I broke my eyeball, but with that being said, I will see you guys in a couple of days. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button because I post every Sunday and Wednesday and the videos are always crazy. But with that being said, I will see you in a couple of days. Peace.